What's going on, YouTubers? Mopar Man 1978. Um, hadn't posted any videos for a little while. Um, we've had uh, off and on rain again. It finally, we got uh, three or four days finally now of dry conditions. Uh, apologize for the uh, noise in the background, including the wind. We're supposed to have up to 30 mile an hour winds today, but anyway. Um, been busy, haven't been lazy, or uh, not wanting to put out it. Not, I don't want somebody to think I wasn't trying to uh, put not put out any effort on my channel um, just because I haven't posted any videos uh, lately. But uh, the reason uh, was basically the income that I had before was just barely making ends meet, um, not really enough to finance my projects and some odds and ends, uh, especially under this uh, horrible administration we got in Washington. Um, since everything's gone up in prices and whatnot, uh, so I had to take on a second source of income, a part-time job, um, 16 an hour, three dollars more if I work on weekends, and it gets I get paid every week, uh, so I couldn't pass that up. And um, so anyway, I've been wanting to do something like this before. And I, and I do, you know, a few odd jobs around, you know, like if I do some sandblasting or mow a couple yards or work on somebody else's vehicle for a little extra cash. But that's not always set in stone. That doesn't always pan out. You know, I sell a couple parts on the side, etc. blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, let's see. Um, few issues. Uh, that the reason I wanted to get this other source of income coming in I wanted to get the uh, custom stick shift made for my pickup finished um, that's gonna finance that um, I got to replace the torque converter in my truck and I'm gonna go with the high performance one this time um, and some of the previous videos were working on my buddy, uh, buddy uh, Ricky's 73 Duster. He's got a buddy that's got a big uh, shop. It's a, he calls it a garage, but it's a gigantic shop with four bays and it's got two lifts, uh, power, electric power lifts and stuff in it. I'm going to talk to him to see if I can't get the truck over there, get it on the lift. And he's got all the equipment over there, including the big roll around transmission jack that you pump up and see if I can't get over there instead of doing it out here in the dirt and the ticks and stuff um, and drop the transmission and put the torque converter in and put it back up in there but anyway I got to talk to him about that um, not too thrilled about the mufflers I've had on this truck for a while they're the uh, Flowmaster FX basically they're just glass packs on steroids they're just a big muffler case but the internals are like a glass pack um, it's nice and quiet as far as like no re uh, resonance in your ear going down the road or in traffic or in stop. Sounds good idling. But you get on it and go down like the highway 65 miles an hour or more. It has a cackling and a popping sound so I'm just tired of dealing with that. So I'm going to try to go with maybe uh, a Cherry Bomb Vortec muffler or uh, the new Pipes Turbo Pro. Or maybe even just a hooker O chamber muffler, since I'll still be able to have the uh, the rumble and the throatiness and the the really good flow without the cackling and the popping sound. Um, and I still want to get a, a 68 Hemi uh, bolt-on hood scoop for my truck and for the Dart. Um, I think there's a place in the back of a Mopar Muscle Magazine or the uh, Chrysler Power called Ma uh, Manzarelli or something like that. I can't remember what the guy's name is. It starts with an M, but it's not Mancini. It's another Italian sounding name. But uh, they sell them in there for like maybe a couple hundred bucks a piece. But anyway, I want to do that. Uh, finance the uh, fin finish. Uh, getting the stuff I need for the dart. That's what I meant by finance. Um, get the uh, Dr. Diff rear axle kit with the green bearings and the seals. 
um, and senior racing get the leaf springs uh, I've already checked with them I think it's gonna be 135 140 dollars per leaf spring and then it's a hundred twenty five dollars uh, shipping uh, freight shipping to my door and I'll have to recheck with them again to make sure prices hasn't gone up again um, Dr. Diff he's not taking orders from my understanding not over the phone anymore you actually have to send him an email and he'll get back to you they said they're so swamped now I don't know if that's changed or not but uh, like I said with this job I get paid every week so I'll have income coming in every week and uh, yeah and I remember I think I said 16 an hour and then uh, if you work weekends it's three dollars more an hour anyway so that'll definitely help out on a lot of stuff that's been stagnant uh, I know you guys are looking forward to more newer stuff on my channel um, I pretty much got the General Lee's and everything up to par on the older looking one I went ahead those set of mufflers I had sitting in my dart uh, I just went ahead and donated them for a few bucks to my buddy that's got that General Lee so we're gonna have new do new mufflers put on uh, and then the one that I've been working on in the garage the headers everything's back on so all he has to do is go get the uh, car uh, uh, the front end aligned and then have the section of uh, exhaust pipe the dual exhaust pipe that's already on the car uh, section of pipe uh, hooked back up from that pipe to the, the the new collectors on the back of the headers and that generally will be back running um, and then what I want to do is uh, what I want to do is focus on getting a carport some type of cheap carport like a 10 foot wide or 12 foot wide by 12 foot long or maybe longer than that I would probably say 16 just for the dart and then eventually on the lower half of my folks's property they've got another driveway which used to go down to an old uh, trash dump area by the previous owners that's a really wide big long section that my dad said that, that he uh, uh, donated to me for to use a bigger carport for to have a shop or something to work in or I could have the cars parked under it and I can pull a car in and work on it down there maybe um, but my biggest goal is and let me show you um, yeah I don't know if you guys can see this or not but uh, my folks's property is right next door and they share a property line with this abandoned property that's all all this through here all the way up to the main road here and uh this is all a flat area down here which used to have a mobile home here and it, they uh the, the new owners that inherited the property from their uh the guy said his aunt passed away that owned this property and then uh, him and his mom which is her sister took over the property um they had they the guy paid somebody to come in and tear the old nasty falling apart mobile home down and so all you have is a great big flat open spot out over here where the the mobile home and the and the the uh uh shed used to sit i think it was a 10 by 10 by 10 or 10 by 12 uh, sheet metal shed one of them $400 ones cheap ones from like home improvement stores but anyway um, right up over here at the top of the hill where because this is a loop drive that goes around the bottom down over the hill and comes back up to the top to like a little three-way intersection up here at the top of the street uh, the, the property that uh, is right in the middle that the drive through goes down to is the community well the well house uh, all these houses out here were on an old country subdivision and these lot these places these small sections over here are called lots these little small little properties are considered lots out here in southern Missouri and this property already has the uh, septic tank already on the property and it already has the uh, well water pipe that starts up here at the shutoff valve and goes all the way down the hill to an outlet for uh they went to the trailer but um what i want to do is 
take over this property since they burnt the since they burnt the what was left of the old mobile home down that actually decreased the value of the property this is only like 4.3 acres and I forgot how far it goes down into the woods but anyway um, I think with the trailer even though it was a crappy trailer and it was falling in and there were squirrels and rats and stuff in there uh, the property was only valued at about four thousand dollars and uh, when they got rid of the trailer and the shed and everything that dropped it down to like maybe a thousand bucks and taxes on this down here is only like 600 some dollars a year uh, property tax so my goal is to start making some money get back in contact with the owners because they have, haven't had anybody interested in this property because they, they think they're still going to get four thousand or more dollars out of this property um, good luck on that but anyway I want to take over this property maybe put one of them cheap one bath one bedroom little cheap pre-manufactured little houses on the property and then maybe actually put a workshop on there for my own property and take this over as my own property cut down a lot of the excess trees get rid of the cedar trees and stuff but anyway uh, that's my goal get my own property instead of paying somebody else monthly for rent and uh, have a place that I can call my own since I am 43 years of age and want to like to be more independent um, but you know I can still be close to my folks house if they ever need help since uh, my folks have had some, still had had or still have some uh, me, uh, medical issues that uh, and whatnot that that they still got to take care of and sometimes they need somebody to drive them to their doctor's appointments and stuff so I'd be close enough to help them out on that stuff but anyway rambled on long enough uh, and before too I almost forgot the uh, through the trees here you can see my dad's 78 Chevy pickup I haven't forgot about that either I'll be getting work getting to work on that before too long too helping my dad get that back on the road but anyway uh, but anyway, I rambled on long enough. Uh, feel free to leave the comments. Uh, feel free to subscribe. It's free. It don't cost you anything. And uh, stay tuned for more videos.